You're watching BBC World News. I'm David Eads. Our top stories. An impromptu vigil is held at Virginia University after President Trump faces a backlash from business leaders over his response to the Charlottesville violence. Grief and anger in Sierra Leone as at least 600 people are still missing after the mudslide on the edge of the capital Freetown. Also preparing for a total solar eclipse, American style. And I'm Jamie Robertson. The worst deal ever. That was how Donald Trump described the North American Free Trade Agreement, a pact between the US, Canada and Mexico. Now it's being renegotiated. And Japan's exports it rose for an eighth straight month in July, boosted by a weak yen and strong demand from the United States. So is the recovery in the world's third largest economy really on track? Hello, thanks for joining us. Well, thousands of people have taken part in a vigil at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Students and others held aloft candles and sang, We Will Overcome and Black Lives Matter here. There's been widespread condemnation over the president's decision to blame left-wing protesters just as much as right-wing supremacists for the violence which erupted in the town at the weekend. David Willis has this report. BBC World News, uh, plenty more still to bring you, including Donald Trump. Well, he has eased the rules on shooting bears in Alaska, and that has provoked new arguments between hunters and conservationists. You're watching BBC World News, I'm David Eads. Our main headline, an impromptu vigil has been held at Virginia University after President Trump faced a backlash from business leaders over his response to the Charlottesville violence. Now, an attack this week on a United Nations peacekeeping base killed seven people in northern Mali. No groups claimed responsibility for that attack yet, but jihadi violence has continued in the West African state despite the presence of around 13,000 UN troops. A peace accord between the government and rebel groups has fallen apart. Our correspondent Tommy Oladipo reports from the town of Gao. Greg Dawson, BBC News. There we are, that's BBC World News. World Business Report still to come. Stay with us. <laughs>